Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Hope you are all well and safe and I hope you're having a great day. Um, I have came across an app called Sketchtree Pro. Downloaded it on my phone first of all. I had a couple of hours messing about with it. Really, really uh, fun app to use. I thought let's get it on the iPad and do a proper tryout. Do I still like it having tried it on the iPad Pro? Let's find out. So I'm gonna look at a program called Sketch Tree Pro. Here it is down here. Let's open it up. So the first time you open it, you get taken into a blank screen. And I've had a quick play around with this. I have to say this, you can do some quite funky stuff with it. Um, but if you try and the way you um, get to the gallery is you pinch the image and and then it takes you to the gallery and you can create more images and this is the one that I'm looking at. Problem with that is I like to zoom out a lot and just see what the picture looks like and it takes you to the gallery and I don't want it to keep doing that. So that was the first irritating thing about it. Menu is quite clean uh, and not. Uh, you know very simple so that's cool it's 9.99 it's quite a lot of money it's the same price as procreate i know it's a lot of, not a lot of money when you look at sort of desktop apps but for an ipad 9.99 is quite a lot of money and it's the same as procreate so you would expect this to be as good as procreate for that money so that's where i'm that's where my thinking is so brushes it has a ton of brushes uh, lots and lots as you can see there we've got writing brushes watercolor brushes as oh like um marks on your paper and things which is quite interesting and then textures so I thought I might try and do something with these textures today if I could. I don't know. We'll we'll see how it goes. But let's start with the writing brushes then. Um, I want to start off with a, a sort of a simple pencil line, I guess. Oh, I've got this blue colour. Oh, the inks, by the way, or the colours. I don't mind calling them inks. You've got this sort of limited palette to choose from. And you can add colors. I can't find any way where you can choose a color circle unless you choose to add a color. And then you can uh, sort of mix it like that and say, okay, and add that to uh, the palette. I suppose if I click uh, choose another color, like say the green, Hang on. I need to add down. So I've got the green selected, then choose add. It's got this green here. So I presume by, uh, if I change this color, if I go back to that, does that sort of, I don't know what that does. I thought that was sort of default. Maybe that's just the color you've, that you, you have selected. So you can pick something that fits in with that. I don't know. This, I can't seem to select it, so I could add that color. So that's how you can add colors. But I'm, I just want to sketch with a black for now. Uh, so I'm just sort of trying out the uh, organic brushes. That we have. Uh, see what I can come up with and then I'm going to look at some of the more <laughs> what is that I don't know I don't know I'm just sort of whipping in this sparrow Uh, 
So the brush, I have to say, is very responsive. It's nice. Feels really good. Uh, that was a bit heavy. What is it? It hasn't got. It hasn't got like a two finger um, delete. You have to click on the icon, which is a bit clunky, I suppose. Uh, I'm used to apps sort of defaulting to the double click. So uh, that's sort of something that I'm not too happy about. See if I can get this eye in the right place. You can zoom in, it's got a good zoom. Uh, function. Uh, see what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. Um, and it also when you when you that happens it defaults back to the default brush so that's a bit clunky as well so you have to go back and select a brush again i think i've got a different one now yeah uh, which one did i have maybe that one yeah that feels like it so that that's a bit clunky as well But it does, the brushes do feel good. It feels uh, really nice. That eye is nowhere near right, is it? Can you shade with them? No, you can't. You can't. Um... You can't tilt your brush on its side and, and shade, which is uh, a little bit unfortunate. That's why the head was looking wrong. It was a sort of peak on it, which I didn't really want. Better. It has got a um, transform. You have, you have to go to layers, click on these three dots and transform, and then you can shrink and move things. Yeah. I've moved that across a bit. Maybe it made that too small now. So I can go back again, a little bit bigger. There we are. That's it. So you can uh, move things around fairly straightforward. That's easy enough. Uh, the reason I got, I, I'm trying this app is I, I use a program uh, and it's called, hang on, I'll just look on my phone and it's called um, App Advice. And every day it, informs me of apps that you normally have to pay for but are free for a short limited time so this came up and it was um free obviously it should be 9.99 and i thought never heard of this one before but it's 9.99 so it should be a, a nice you know a reasonable app for that money um you know just because of, of what uh, the price of apps are so uh, that's why i decided to uh, get it because it was free so i've not paid the 9.99 for it i i've uh, got it absolutely free um which is nice because i get to try it out so that app it, um it's, it's worth getting because I've down, I don't download stuff every day. I'm very fussy about what I download, but I've downloaded uh, something that help, that can help you write IQs, which is really cool. And um, I've downloaded a uh, well, this drawing app. 
maybe a couple of others i'm not sure and i've had the app for about three or four months so um i don't download everything but every now and again it comes up with a little gem and i do you know this is turning out to be quite nice for drawing um let's look at the watercolors the watercolor brushes i've had a uh, if i go right down to the bottom i've already checked some of these out and um i quite like this one just brush number 30 they haven't got any names or anything you can't design your own brushes in this so you know for that kind of money should you should you be able to but look at that that's quite nice isn't it keeps that wet edge going So I can sort of get a little bit of a wash on there. That's quite cool. Liking that. Well, that feels really nice, I have to say. Um, another brush I like is this um, blending thing that you, uh, looks like a finger. It's got a couple of settings. One, if I make it a bit bigger, the first thing I don't like is if you work in sort of a colour next to a blank area, it puts a dark edge around it. And that's like a, a blend to me that looks really digital and I don't like that at all so that's the default blend mode the blend mode I like if you actually hold your finger on that it brings up a menu choose number two smudge and then hopefully it gives you these kind of brush marks but this, this isn't the best example and, and it's a bit random. You don't know what it's going to pick up. Is it going to pick up the colour? Or is it going to pick up the black of the pencil? And, and at the minute, it's probably not at the right stage to start blending with because it does this random stuff. And I've had it do some really nice stuff, but uh, maybe around the bird, perhaps. But, uh, I'll come back to that because I'm not feeling that just at the minute. Let's just keep on doing those. I'm working on one layer. It does have layers and it's got a few um a few functions, but again it's really quite restricted. Let's try this watercolour brush and choose uh I don't know, this brown colour for the the suet ball it's okay maybe dark color as well this might work with the blending brush let's try that now yeah but it doesn't, it, I mean, it, it's definitely not a watercolour effect like that. So you, you're not going to get um, a sort of a, a, a watercolour blend. But I have to say, I like I like this sort of um, randomness thing going off. Right, let's try something else. I'm tempted to, to show you these texture brushes. These these are quite fun because you can take these brushes and you can choose a texture and you can uh, sort of paint it, say, over the bird like that. And And strictly speaking, it's not a true texture brush where um, you paint a texture and then you can paint over it and it would change the size of the texture if your brush size changes this it's like having a layer mask down 
and it ju you just um, removing the mask and exposing the texture so if you kept going you cover the old sheet the old sheet and if I draw over this by uh, going back to the watercolor brush uh, wait, let's, let's choose a, a pencil instead and start drawing over that and then go back to the texture I'll have to choose the brush I do um, it was that one. Oh, no, it wasn't. Which one was it? The, I think it was that that one. No, no. Oh my God! Not a very good demo. Form of the flowers. Ah, this one. It paints over it again. You can see in exactly the same place. So, um, you could do you could reproduce that quite easily in say Procreate, uh, except the the only thing is here you have actually got the um, ability uh, to just pick a brush and paint it. Whereas in Procreate, you'd have to get your your uh, texture, import that in. Um, Put a mask on it, hide it, and then start repainting it in. So it'd be a bit faffy. But see what I'm doing here? I like how I'm using the texture of this uh, brush to put some pattern in, in the bird, like a, uh, a bit of, um, what do you call it, when you're cutting out paper and gluing it on. So it becomes a bit of a montage, I suppose, really. And um, I'm quite liking that so let's go back to some of these writing brushes so although this is a very limited app you can do some uh quite funky stuff with it some of these brushes are a little bit weird you can do some funky stuff with it that um makes it a little bit unique what's that like? that uh, you just would find it difficult to do in other apps. So once again, it's kind of proving the, the, th the thing that I've always said that um, the app you're using can define how you produce the artwork or, or what kind of artwork you produce. So I'm doing something uh, quite different to what I normally do just because of um these the the app that I'm using really these are nice this is a nice brush I think uh, ooh maybe <laughs> a bit too much see I'm double tapping to try and undo I don't it feels a bit sort of uh clunky in that respect there we are and then I can go back to black just going to use this I'm just wondering if I should be using uh, a pencil maybe this doesn't work so well this is nice if you use it with big strokes like this lot be quite cool for um, putting in some of these feathers perhaps There we are. Let's change it for a brown. Um, I can, in actual fact, before I do that, let's just um, create a, a new layer because we've I've not really looked at the layers. So we can add a layer, and the only uh, blend modes we've got are normal, multiply, and screen so that's a bit limiting to say the least so you haven't got like loads and loads of features on this that you have in say procreate uh but now i've um 
Well, let's go with that. Make the brush a bit bigger. Now I've got a blend mode. You can see that it. You can still see that pattern underneath, but I can um, add some color for my for my bird. And uh, I quite like this. There we go. Should I put a little bit of uh, railing work in it? I don't know. Let's put some uh, pinky color. Pink, 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 pink. I don't want like shocking pink. I want a dusty pink, which is this, but I need it to be. Um, a bit darker so oops where's my menu gone what's happened now i seem to have lost the menu and i don't know how to get that back oh here we go if i hold down the color or do i have to double tap the color how did i do it before i don't know what's happening here Let's resize it, it comes back. How did I add the colour? Oh, I know. What am I doing? Select the colours. Go to the plus. I've got that selected. I just want it a bit darker. Maybe like that. Yeah. Add that. That's it. Now I've got that colour. And I can just paint that in. Still not pink enough, is it? I kind of want this pink, I think. That's, um... Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. So it's a bit faffy, isn't it? To Oh, whoa. That's a bit bright. That's not... Do I have to... Select? I've got to select it. It's a bit faffy to... Um change colors but you could just work with the colors they've got i suppose right i'm going to get that blending brush and just or smudge brush i should say they call it just smudge away now it's not, i found that this sometimes this doesn't smudge it doesn't seem to want to smudge that pink but it's working there it's very random Let's put some colour in here. So I suppose I could stick with it with a, a sort of a, a pinky theme and go with. I wanted maybe maybe this. Is that colour a bit too vibrant? Bit in there. What's this smudge bush gonna do? Layer cannot be empty, it's not empty. Doesn't like that, does it? Now, what I have found if that happens, if I just shrink the image down, then open it up again, and then choose the blending brush, it it will blend it then. So that's a little bit sort of random. I like that. It's all right, but those colors are just too vibrant. I wonder if I can. Um, put it on opacity just to knock them down a bit.
that's it and then create a new layer perhaps again make the blend mode multiply which it is oh so it remembers what i'd used last time and then choose a brown just now if i go back to my brush it will have gone back to that sort of default shape so i need to choose the brush i want I want darker than that, don't I? Let's... Yeah. I'm just going to take a, a razor and just lift a little bit of that out. Try and put a little bit of detail in the wings. Got the opacity down. I wonder why it was like not uh, doing what I wanted it to do. So I can go back to this brown. That isn't that blend mode. It's not right. That doesn't look like multiplied to me. But it's saying it is. Am I working on the right layer? Yeah. I'll set change it to screen and back to multiply. Ah. So although it was saying multiply, it wasn't that wasn't good, was it? You know what? There we, I think I think that's it. I just need to sign this. Let's uh, get a pencil, change it to black, get it signed. Uh, so, what do I think to Sketch Tree Pro for nine ninety nine by Procreate? Um, because it can do everything that this does and a, a way way more as well um unless you like the features that you can bring in these textures and paint those as well uh there's another feature i should really show you as well if i um just create a new layer and um choose to add a background I can bring in a picture, say, of this bird that I've sketched. Let's just bring that in. And then I can accept that. And this seems a bit clunky. There we go. But then we've got this magic wand brush where I can add a sketch and it will auto sketch it for you. And then you can start painting over that. And I was seriously thinking of um using that to do a tree of life and uh, bring a bird in like this and just use it as a little bit of the image of, of part of this montage with the textures in the end i didn't do that but that's another feature so it's got these kind of cool features in it that make that sets it apart from different apps but I don't think that they make it that special that it's worth um, that much more. Makes it valuable enough to buy um, instead of Procreate or Art Rage or, you know, all of the million and one other apps out there. There's nothing that really stands it out and makes it worth that. I'm glad I got it, uh, but I got it for free. And I think um, it's a nice little app to have in my uh, arsenal, as it were, for trying different things like this. But if I just want a painting app, you know, you can make your own brushes in Procreate. 
you can't in this. I don't know. There's just a, a few cool features like the textured paint brushes. And I have to say the brushes are really good. They are really nice brushes to work with what I've used. So there's that. You can't uh, scroll the, the canvas to uh, swap it to uh, portrait mode. You've only got that one size. So if you want portrait, it's like Tear Sui where you have to flip your canvas. Um, you can't, yeah, hasn't got like the double tap feature. So there's a lot of features missing. I think it's an app in development really. And it's one to watch because I think it could become really, really good. Anyway, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos like this. And I would love to be sharing them with you. So don't forget everybody. Keep painting. Stay safe and stay sane. And all of that. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.